Okay, so let's let's work with the concept of a function. So all of all of the things that we kind of see up here with parentheses, um, like np dot a range, and then we have uh, parentheses with stuff inside. These are examples of something called a function. Sine, uh, very familiar function. Um, the things that go in here, these are called the parameters to the function, and there's some code somewhere. Um, that when you call this function, it does whatever this a range thing does. So let's look at an example. So here's the syntax for declaring a new function. It goes like this, df for definition. Um, and then you give the function its name. So I'm just going to call it my function, okay, because it's, it's my function. And this is going to take in uh, two variables, an x variable and a y variable, and it's going to return their sum. So it's just going to return x plus y. Okay, so this is a function. Uh, now, if I call this function, if I just say my function and then do 2 comma 1 and I run this, the answer should be 3. And that's what the output is here. Maybe it'd be even a little bit better to do print my function. And so print here is another, is another function. Uh, so what's going to happen here, uh, on the inside, my function is ran. And so 3 is going to be returned to the print command or the print function. And print knows how to take an integer, which is not a string. It's not like a something you see. It's a, it's a number. It's three. And how to represent that in its integer form, or sorry, in its string form, which, which is the numeral three. Okay, so if I run this, we get three. Okay, let's just make sure it's working. So if I do this, it should be seven. Okay, good. Let's try this again. If I do 651, I guess I should get 656. Okay. So this is a ba basic, very basic example of a function. And now let's see how we can take this, uh, this idea of functions and have another derivative thing like this. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a function like this, have another derivative thing. Sorry, when I say another derivative thing, I mean another block of code that computes the derivative. But now we'll be able to change the function that we get to, that we get to plug in over here. Okay, so let, let's just do this. Um, so let me delete some stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to say definition. I'm going to make a new function just called fun for function. Um, and I'm just going to have it be, be this function for now. It's just going to be x squared plus x plus 1, just because we know what should be happening over here. So x squared plus x plus 1. Okay, so that's my new function. And now within this sort of universe of, of this instance of Jupyter, this Jupyter notebook that I have open, it knows that function of x is going to do this computation and return that. So for example, if I do function of 2, I should get 4, 5, 6, 7. Whoops. Oh, I didn't write return here. You have to write return. Um, you have to write return. So what does that mean? Uh, this is the value that actually gets returned. So you call a function, you give it a number, and it spits out another number, which is this. Okay, we're just going to be x squared plus x plus 1. Now, it doesn't always have to return something, or the fact that it returns something isn't always going to be the important thing, and we'll see examples of that. But for now, it is. So function of 2. Ah. There we go. Okay, so I didn't run the code, so I'll do that, then do that. Okay, perfect. Oops. Okay, so now down here, I'm basically just going to copy and paste this code. I'll bring the tolerance back to 0.1. I'm going to uh, copy and paste the code right here. So a is equal to 0.2. So we're still going to fix the point at which we're taking the derivative. Uh, so a is equal to 0.2. This is going to be uh, our h value, um, our beginning h value. Remember, we get better and better h values. Okay, so the difference quotient. Okay, so the difference quotient is going to be this computation here, and the only thing that changes is uh, is the h value. So instead of having this, I'm just going to move this down for a second. We're going to have function of a plus h minus function evaluated at a, and then we're going to divide this whole thing. By h. Okay, and I'm going to put, I want to test this. So I'm going to put a back to being equal to zero. 
So this should give me an approximation to the derivative um, of this function, x squared plus x plus 1, x squared plus x plus 1, when a is equal to 0. Okay, I know if I take the derivative here, the derivative is going to be 2x plus 1. So the answer here should be close to 1 because a is equal to 0 and this is my function. So let me run this code now. Approximately, okay, very good. So if I take h, if I, if I make my tolerance even smaller and run this, probably get even closer, so on and so forth. You can see how we can do this. Okay, um, so this is it for uh, the beginning of functions. So um, what I want to do in the next video is actually make a function that computes a derivative. So what, what is going to happen in the next video, the type of function that we're going to make in the next video, it's going to take in a function, another function as an argument, it's going to take a point at which you want to compute the derivative as an argument, and it's going to take a tolerance as an argument. And then basically this code is going to be within the function and it's going to return uh, the derivative. It's going to return the value of the derivative uh, at this point. Okay, so it's just going to be one function that does it I'll, I'll tell you what it's going to look, look like. It's going to be uh, a function. We'll just call it derivative. It's going to take in a function. It's going to take in the point. And it's going to take in the tolerance. And then there's going to be code here. And eventually it's going to return the derivative. Okay. And all of code, you know, there's going to be a bunch of code in between there that's going to return the derivative. But that's what we're going to do um, in the next video.